So guys, uh, in the last classes, we have done with the some concept of the like, you know, the arc and we have also done with the Mac address table builder, right? So we have seen that how we can build the, how the switches actually build the Mac address table, right? So we have a scenario like this, like, you know, just for the recap of okay, for a few minutes, the PC number one we have, okay. At the same, same time, we have PC number two, PC number three, and PC number four, right? And then we have a switch in between all A2 device. I'd say intelligent device has come to the hub, right? Hub. Because hub is a layer one device, so switch is a layer two device that can understand the unicast packet, broadcast packet, and multicast packet as well as. And its switch interface, uh, uh, whatever the uh, interface on the switch one has, all interface has a separate collision domain, right? That is not happening in the hub case, right? Because hub has a single collision domain. But switch has a multiple collision domain, but they have a single broadcast domain. Always someone like is on. Then we have about this guy as a PC number one. This guy has an IP we can consider on a Mac. So I'll call it this guy as an IP address. That's a layer three information 101, right? And Mac will be A. So Mac is a 48 bit address, whereas the IP is a 32 bit address. IP is called as a logic, uh, logical address, whereas the Mac is called as a physical address. Why would you call the Mac as a physical address? Because Mac is associated with the NIC card. On a hardware, uh, you know, hardware chip, this is present. But IP is you are logically defining over there. But IP works on the layer three, Mac works on the layer two. So in a LAN, you can provide the communication with the Mac, but on the WAN side, you always need to use the IPs. Now, uh, every PC maintain the ARP table. So by default, this ARP table will be empty of this guy. Okay, they don't have any ARP entry. This guy also does not, do not have any ARP entry, right? So when the PC one will send a packet, right? He's the okay, I'll let me ping one or two. Why am I going to use the ping command? Ping, uh, you know, ping is a command that works on the ICMP protocol, the protocol number one. And why we are going to use the ICMP just for the diagnose purpose, right? Because IP is not a IP is not a reliable protocol. At the same time, IP does not provide any kind of diagnose. Okay, so we are using the ping, uh, sorry, ICMP protocol for the diagnosis. Because right before exiting the any information, we need to confirm. Okay, my neighbor person is available or not. Guys, again, we have already seen. I'm just recapping so that we can correlate. Right now, this is the PC number one. It will create a first packet, the ICMP request packet. In this ICMP request packet, we have source MAC address. We have a destination MAC address. Uh, I'm not interested in the type field right now. Forget the type field, and we have source and destination IP. The Ethernet type will remember based on that uh, the layer two decides should I forward the packet to the layer three or not. So it might be one on one A, one on one IP address, and this is only one on four, right? So this is the source MAC. This is the destination MAC, and this is the source IP information, and this is the destination IP information. So this packet will be dropped. This is the ICMP request packet. This packet will be dropped just because of the encapsulation field. We need to fulfill the complete requirement, right? Now, so what happened was this area packet will be dropped at this point, right? On the PC side, not the switch side. This kind of interpretation, they will arrive in the interview as well as, right? This packet will drop at the same point on the PC one side. So what PC one will do? By default, ARP is enabled. So what PC will be do? It will generate the ARP request. Now, what is ARP? You need to find the previous video. Then we have a Ethernet header. At the same time, we have ARP header as well as Right, so we have a source MAC address. We have a destination MAC. Then we have a source IP and destination IP, right? So the source MAC will be what? This guy will be A, the destination MAC FFF, right? And the source MAC will be A, destination MAC, I don't know, 0000. zero, 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 zero. Source IP will be 101, and destination IP will be 102, right? Sorry, 104. Because I'm requesting for the R for the 104. So this is called an Ethernet header. And this is our ARP header we have, right? 
this is the r request packet that always do the broadcast right when this packet uh arrived on the zero slash one interface of the switch one what switch one will do first of all it will maintain the mac entry it will say okay for the vlan number one right we have a mac then we have a type and then we have a ports over there right so vlan number one we have mac address will be always going to learn the source mac address i will be dynamic port number will which interface zero slash one now one point remember always switch will learn the source mac address switch always learn source mac information right always to learn the source mac info and by default the mac eating time is what 300 seconds we can call it five minutes as well as right now so once i entry i will learn the switch this person right this is the one guy over there the switch is going to learn this entry in the mac table what happened immediately two person will be available right one is the cpu and one is the memory right very happy person cpu and memory this guy, some CPU system will be high and some memory consumption will be happen on the switch side, right? As because I'm going to add the entry. Same like, you know, if you're going to open your task manager, right? Can, can you see that how many things are open right now? GNS3, Pigpen, Google Chrome, Zoom meeting, right? Okay, paint and VMware as well as. So according to that, they are uh, calculating the memory and the CPU consumption as well. Can you see the right now the Google Chrome is taking the almost both other later. So you can see that uh, for a few seconds the CPU get high and now you can say do we have a Google room right now? No. So I have removed the Google room, right? And what happened? My menu consumption will be reduced and CPU also will reduce. So whenever you are adding something and removing something, CPU and memory will be high. And when the type will be dynamic, what happened for the dynamic? We have a Mac in time for this guy, so 300 seconds. It means that after the 300 seconds, if no communication is happening through this port number, this entry will be deleted. So now what switch will do? Switch will look up the, after the learning the source Mac information, now it will look up the destination. What's the distance back is there? FFF. So what switch will do? It will broadcast this packet of this guy, then this guy, and then this guy. The PC number three will drop the packet. He said, hey, I'm not a, a you know the one of four. I'm a one of three. I will drop the packet. Same thing. PC number two will drop the packet. The PC number four will accept this packet, right? And what PC will do, four will do? First of all, they will say, okay, let me learn the ARP entry. IP Mac. IP is one one one. Mac will be A. So first, what PC will do? First, it will learn the Mac entry. Sorry, ARP entry. And after that, it will give the reply packet. like this and now this one. so who has the first day of the class today or if you miss the class then guys then you the problem with you right you have to watch the previous video so this is the now the pc4 will generate the art reply packet right and in the art reply what happened now they will put the source mac will be now b sorry d Source pack will be D now, and uh, source pack will D. Distance pack will be what A. Distance pack will be A. Source pack will be what one of four, and distance pack is what one of one. And this is called as a R reply packet. And this R reply packet will be a unicast because all we have a unicast information. And now the PC four will send this information to the PC switch one. Switch one will receive this information on the zero slash four interface. What is the behavior? First, it will learn the So VLAN number one. Come on. Mac D. I will be D and zero slash four port number. And after that, what happened? Once they will learn the Mac entry, now it will look up the distance of Mac. Distance Mac is what A. So it will look up the Mac, uh, Mac table. Hey, do we have A in the Mac table? 
yes according to my mac address table i need to forward the packet to whom zero slash one interface now the switch will forward the packet to whom this guy and now the pc one will receive and what pc one will do it will update the app table okay let's update r will be ip then mac ip will be 104 mac will be d and after that once they have done now it will create a which packet i simply request and now it will put the distance mac is what and now this packet will send to whom switch switch will receive this packet on which interface zero slash one right it will refresh the mac address table and it will look at the distance of mac distance mac is d do we have a d in my mac table yes according to my mac information i need to forward the packet to whom zero slash four report so it will forward the packet to whom zero slash four and pc4 will receive it and it will re reply the same packet is that okay let me get the reply the reply will be I simply reply, and in the reply, what happened? Source mag will be now D. Distance mag will be A. Source IP will be one of four, and distance IP will be one of one. And this is how now the PC four will send the packet to the PC number one. This is how the connection will happen. And last two days, guys, we have seen this practical. Two or three days, I don't know. Maybe three days. Maybe. Two days. Have a first glance and let me know if you have any questions. If you don't have any questions, then let me know. So, uh, for, uh, if if uh, we are having multiple VLANs and we are no, I mean, that I'm our... no, that I'm coming to the point. Do you have in this question any question? The VLAN number one right now? No. No, no, no. Then, then wait for some time. Okay. Depositing save it, right? Okay. Yeah. Guys, so this is the PC you can assume like this. Have one minute. Let me start the devices. R1, R5, switch one, R2, R4, and R3. All done. Learn. Router number one. Enable so IP. Okay. So IP interface brief, guys. Have a look. Exclude another sign. Okay. Right on the each and every command line. Okay. Yes, I'm many, but I don't know which command you have to write and which command you don't to write. It's up to you. Okay. Commands like that. That's Hello. Yes, I'm Hello. I make a lot of that. Yeah. Hello. Guys, just give me two minutes. Okay. I have urgent for right now. Just give me two minutes. Yes. 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 Hello. That uh, exclude undefined means the interfaces which we did not unassign. So I'm excluding the unassigned number interfaces. Oh. 
So I'll just write on the, all the Mac and IP information so that you can easily understand why it is. I don't have enough space. I'll go for the eight and let's go for the another plus. One, one, one. Okay, font is visible. If you if, if it's not visible, let me know. I can change it as well as. No, nine is fine. As visible, right? So this guy will be same way. R two. How do the IP addressing enable show IP interface brief exclude and assign show interface zero slash in, interface zero slash zero include BIA body address right so this guy will be two mac will be 300 so same way this guy will be r3 how ip address will be one out of three the mac will be 300 not 300 it should be 400 same way this guy will be Done. One of six, five now, and this guy should be six. Oh, great. Now, up the book, Tamasa, switch down. So, this is the switch Mac table I'm just going to draw over there because I don't have a space over there, right? So, I'm going to draw the switch Mac table over there. By default, on the switch, you don't have a Mac entry. What information you will have? You will have a VLAN information. You will have VLAN information. Then we have a port uh, Mac information. Then we have a uh, type information. And then we have a port information, right? Your type could be two things. Your type will be two parts. Either it can be a static or either it can be a dynamic. For the static, there is no timer for the dynamic. There is a timer of 300 seconds, right? So for the dynamic, we have a timer that is called as a 300 second or called as a MAC AG time. Right? Done? Done. Now, when the PC one, right, when the PC one is going to send the packet to the PC, uh, PC number two, or we can say the router number two, they can easily send the traffic because right now all they belong. So if you just have a look at the switch one information, so we can update, right? All the interfaces, right? Ethernet 0 slash 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 0 slash 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Sorry, not 0 slash 1, 0 slash 0, 1, 2, 3, and 1 slash 0. All this port is belong to the which VLAN? VLAN number 1. Can you see that? I have a VLAN number 10 and 20 as well as, but by default, all the interfaces belong to the which VLAN? VLAN number 1. And this is the reason by default switch has a single broadcast domain all done now if you have a look right now on things so mac address table i have a mac addresses right and how this mac address comes in the picture right now because by default some protocol is enabled on the router side okay like a cdp protocol and they are in the cdp protocol what happens from the cdp protocol the switches is learning the source mac address okay so this information will be not there by default but by default what happened on the router side cdp protocol is enabled, not, not cdp only lots of protocol is enabled so they are sending the keep sending the packet to the switches right so in that case whatever switches is learning the source mac address that's why this entry is present right now but if somebody will ask you, hey, do we have any MAC address in the MAC address table by default? No. If you see the Cisco packet tracer, Cisco packet tracer will be 
everybody will see but if you just disable the all the late uh, like you know all the protocols that is enable on the router side then it will never learn the entry if you see right now i'm just say the clear mac address table now dynamic right and now see i don't have any entry nothing is there and when i send the traffic right from this guy to this guy right now they all belong to the same broadcast domain they can easily exchange the data they all are present into the single broadcast domain they all are present into the single broadcast domain they can easily exchange the data so from router number 1 i can send the traffic to the every person ping 1102 ping 1103 ping 1104 and ping 1105 now by default in cisco cli when i'm seeing the unicast packet right you are sending the five packets by default and each packet has a size on it by and time out will be 2 second this is the default behavior you can change it another one if you are sending the broadcast packet again five packets by default each packet size on it by time out 2 second and another we have a multicast one packets by default each packet size is 100 byte right? time out 2 second in windows 32 byte right? we are not done speaking of the thing try to wait then अब ये प्रैक्टिकल रूल देखोगे आप देख लो इसको मस्त ये देखो एक काम करता हूँ फर्स्ट इफ यू सी डेट आर वन वन और टू फाइव पैकेट्स आई एम सेंडिंग बाय डिफ़ॉल्ट इच पैकेट साइज़ इज़ हंड्रेड बाइट एंड आई एम सेंडिंग द इक्वल रिक्वेस्ट टू दिस गाय एंड टाइम आउट इज़ वो टू सेंड व्हाट इ Or if you are not giving the reply, then I will wait for the two second, and after the two second, I am going to send another ICMP request. Again, if you are not going to give the reply, again if you are not going to give the reply, again if you are not going to give the reply, but if you give the reply, then take example. I have sent the packet PC one and PC two, right? PC one has sent the packet to the PC number two, and PC two number two has given the reply. Then what happened? Now the PC number one is calculate the RTU, retransmit out. No, RTU retransmit. What was it? What was the name? Is that one minute? Oh, oh. Oh man. Yeah, well, this go round trip. RTU. And what is the RTT right now? See, minimum it is a four over there. The average is what four, and the maximum is what five. So always we are considering the average value. Always. It means that I have sent the request packet to the PC number one. The five packets I have sent. The five packets I have sent, and is giving the reply within a four millisecond. And for your kind information, in the one second you will have a one thousand millisecond. This is called what? This is called delay. Delay to what? This is called delay. The time taken from sending a packet and getting the acknowledge of that one. 
उसका अलग डिले विच डिले प्रोपोगेशन डिले काम आएगा क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस में लिख लो इसे देखो स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स दीज आर द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू विल नॉट फाइंड इन द बुक सो जस्ट राइट अवर so by default in the unicas how many packets i'm sending five you can change it as well i guess okay i'm going to send the repeat how many 1000 size and also white so ja bhai the chale gaye dekho the fast hai ek average one millisecond now let's do the broadcasting as the ping Done. Okay. Quick question to all of you. If I'm sending a broadcast packet, okay. If I'm sending the broadcast packet, can anyone tell me? I'm. I'm. Uh, this guy is present over there, right? So this is the Amit, right? Amit is present over there, and uh, Amit wants to communicate with the different different girls, right? In that case, what is the source MAC address? Tell me. What is source MAC out of? Distance MAC. What will be the distance? What is the source IP and distance IP? अगर ये नहीं बताए ना, भाई यार क्लास में source source MAC होगा उसका अमित का मैं ये ये अमित को हम आएगा two hundred two hundred destination वाले broadcast MAC के लिए broadcast FF typing FF FF distance IP two fifty five so this packet come to the switch what switch will do send the packet to this guy This guy and this guy and this guy. Reply me, kya aayega? Jaldi bata do. Kitne? How many reply R1 will get first of all? Four. Four. Good job. Iska reply bata do. Kya aayega? If this guy will send the reply packet, what is the source MAC address? This guy, six hundred. Distance MAC, two hundred. Source IP, one of five. Distance IP, one of five. Correct? Yeah. Yes. बहुत टैलेंटेड हो तुम लोग ये देखो आ गया सो आई हैव सेंड द हाउ मेनी पैकेट्स फाइव पैकेट्स ईच पैकेट साइज इज 100 बाइट सेंडिंग द ब्रॉडकास्ट टाइम ऑफ रिसीव सो आई एम गेटिंग द रिप्लाई फ्रॉम 105 102 103 104 <laughs> done the next packet 105 102 103 104 next packet wait for the fast packet मेरे को 0 1 2 3 चार वेट करो ठीक है पैकेट नंबर फोर Wait for some time more. It will take some time. मीन वाला मैं राउटर ये जब भी कर रहा था इनेबल कॉन्फ़िग टर्मिनल कॉन्फ़िग कॉन्फ़िग टर्मिनल राउटर ये जब भी ना वन नेटवर्क जीरो 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 डोंट आस्क मी दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ जीरो 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 विल एक्सप्लेन विल सी इन द राउटिंग पार्ट आई जस्ट ट्राई टू शो यू द ये जब मल्टीकास्ट बिहेव Done. So, so IP interface zero interface is hundred zero slash zero. Which multicast group they have joined? Ten. Ten to join here. Yeah. 
Understood, guys. Any questions in this part? Yeah. देखो पता है बोल दिया करो थोड़ा सा अच्छा लगता है. No no uh, no questions. अपना अपन सा लगता है नो क्वेश्चंस दो बार टाइम बर्बाद होता है खाते हुए तो विल प्रोसीड नाउ नेक्स्ट पार्ट गाइस हैव अ लुक वन थिंग ऑन आर फॉर व्हेन आई एम सेंडिंग द फाइव पैकेट्स व्हाट वी आर कंसीडरिंग ओवर देयर Average delay. Why we are average delay is two happening over there? Because each packet is sending with a different different delay. Maybe the first packet I have sent, I will get the uh, uh, reply in the one millisecond. Second packet I have sent, I will get the reply in the three millisecond. Third packet I have sent, I will get the reply in four millisecond. First packet, uh, fourth packet I have sent, I will get the reply in the one second. And the fifth packet I have sent, I will get the reply in the fifth second. So I will calculate the average one. And the average is right now what two millisecond. But if you see one thing, I'm sending how many packet? One. So minimum be one yoga, average be one yoga, and maximum be one yoga. So everything will be same. And this delay will be right. This delay value will be change because every time your network will be change. So delay will will be change. Sometime it it will give the reply in a very uh, fastly. Sometime it will take some time as well as see. One second, one second, one second, and five second, five millisecond. Sorry. So hope this part is clear to all of you. Okay. Now let's come over to the next one. If you see one thing, switch one. So MAC address table. Based on this MAC address table, what happened? Based on this MAC address table, switches are going to follow the packet. Now, when this guy Amit is sending a packet to this guy, MAC is 200 and distance is 5 600 over there. Source MAC and distance MAC. When this packet is coming to the switch one, right? This interface zero slash zero. What switch one will do? It will just first of all, right? I already have an entry, right? And I'm learning this entry as a dynamic. And for the dynamic, we have some timer, and that timer is called as a MAC address aging time, and by default, the MAC address aging time is what 300 second. So this information is already present in my MAC table. So I will just refresh this one, and after that, what happened? I'm look up the destination lookup, and according to the MAC table, what switch is it? Hey, according to my MAC table, the 600 right. is belong to the same vlan perfect it means that they are possess the same broadcast domain and i'm learning this mac address as a dynamic again the dynamic we have a 300 second timer if any packet is coming for the this mac address i need to just forward the packet to the this interface ports that is 
So this is how the switches perform the lookup and based on that, it follows the frame. But what happened if the MAC address table does not have a MAC entry? What happened if the MAC address table does not have a MAC entry? We generate our breakfast. The it will just learn from PC. Broadcast data to all. It will do the unknown in a spreading. Look at the Look at the field coronated working field. Field cut is a field cut. Majaga for me. But the initially PC may happen to naive on us. I mean, they make a chart to take to be killer. Uh, no new cast will be done when uh, PC know the destination map, but uh, switch doesn't know through which port it has to flood the packet, right? Exactly right, bro. Now let's define the IP address of this guy. This guy should be one or two. According to the PC number, I'm just defining the IP address one or two. This guy should be one or three. And this guy will be one of Also, this is a 101 now. This is a 102 now. This is a 103 now. So, 104 now. Hey, 101 of four. I got the reply. Right. Down trip time approximate 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 round trip time in the millisecond, right? Average is what zero millisecond. Zero percent loss. Now, so I send the packet to this guy and he'll give the reply to me, right? In the zero millisecond. Let's do one thing. Right now, if you see this guy, right? PC1 has an arc entry of the PC number four, right? And I'm learning this ARP entry. This is the MAC address of what? 101 of four. Actually, this is the MAC address belong to this guy, right? So this ARP table is there, right? In the PC number one. So this is the IP and this is the MAC. What happened if I'm going to switch side and I said, hey, do one thing. I'm giving you the command, please remove the MAC address table. Welcome. Now let's come back to the over there. Send the packet from here to it. This is the ICMP packet. And you, or if you open this packet, this is a pure unicast packet. Source MAC address. You can see a 0060. That's a MAC address of the PC number one. And 003, that's a destination MAC of the PC number four. And the IP is also same. Nothing is different. And now, when this packet is coming to the switch, this is the pure unicast packet. What switch will do? It flood. That is called as a unknown unicast flooding. They will drop it. They will drop it and this guy will accept it. And when this person will give the reply, reply will be what? Unicast. 
because now they had an entry, right? We already discussed this part in the Thursday class. I just say you use a practical. But still, if you have a question, you can ask me. So, uh, I said that uh, we can block unknown unicast flooding. Sorry, what did you say? Sorry, what did you say? So, we can block unknown unicast flooding, right? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. We can block it, we can minimize it. Block it, we can set it. Let me check it. Block it, we can set it. Okay, okay. Block it, we can set it. Let me check it. स्विच पोर्ट ब्लॉक यूनिकास्ट कुछ कमांड ऐसा है क्या कमांड हाँ जेनेस ऐसे ही बच्चे से ये तो मुझे तो टैलेंटेड बंदे हैं जिंदगी में चलो नेक्स्ट पॉइंट गाइस हाँ बोलो तो बोले दिस ऑल एंट्री इज़ अ डायनामिक राइट यू हैव एबिलिटी टू डिफाइन द स्टैटिक एंट्री आस पास ऐसे द मैक एड्रेस टेबल Static. मैं इस मैक को कॉपी कर लूँ. Which VLAN? VLAN नंबर वन. Which interface? Interface. This one. Ethernet वन से लाजिलो. So do I have any timer for this guy? No. So if I have a clear MAC address table. What's that? Dynamic. Sorry. All the dynamic entry will be removed, not the static. Because this is like a static route. If you define the static route on the router, and if the network is not present, Will the router be removed that route automatically? No, never. But in the dynamic, what happens if the network is not present? Router will remove that route for, from the routing cable. Same concept is happening over there. Dynamic what? The information will be automatically removed if someone is not there. The static means what? It will be present. And where we, where we define the static MAC address concept? Where we have a some server. So assume that this is the server. And for the server, I have defined the static done now if you have a look one more thing so mac address t1 aging time what is the aging time by default? Now pay attention, guys. It's a global aging time. Global means what? Universe. <laughs> For all the land. Universe. Exactly right. Universe. <laughs> For all the land. How many VLANs range do we have? Two to about 12 bit, right? Nine four nine six होता है देख लेना निकाल के पाओगे। This amount of villain we have, right? बनाए इतना ही सब तो जितना भी होता है निकाल लेना बनाए। You can only create this amount of villain. And what is the timer for this guy? Three hundred second for every villain. That's the meaning of global. But you do have a ability, right? You do have a ability to define the separate aging time. For the different different VLAN, I said that MAC address table aging time what? Five thousand for which VLAN? VLAN number ten. Ten thousand for which VLAN? VLAN number twenty. Done. So MAC address table aging time. So global is just still what three hundred second for all the VLAN except the Villa number 10 and Villa number 20. It means that
it means that for every vlan we have a separate mac address table and for a separate mac address table you can define individual aging time as well as what is vlan first of all cc number hoga batao kya hota hai what is vlan we are just uh, dividing the big broadcast domain into smaller broadcast domain exactly so vlan means what vlan is a logically broadcast domain it's a logical broadcast domain right it's something like that a switch we have this switch has a single broadcast domain by default and what we are doing i'm just dividing the switch into the multiple virtual switches over there so previously it was switch 1 now we have a switch 1 So it's two, so it's three, and so it's four like this. We are creating a multiple switches. Logical broadcast domain we have. So I can say that this guy is a VLAN number ten. This guy is a VLAN number twenty. This guy is a VLAN number thirty, and this guy is a VLAN number one. right and for each vlan we have a separate mac table i can say that okay for the vlan number 10 we have a mac table for the vlan number 20 we have a mac table for the vlan number 30 we have a mac table and for the vlan number 1 we have a mac table so this is the mac address table for the vlan number 10 20 and 30 for this guy what is the time on 5000 for this guy what is the time on 20000 and for this guy what is the time on 30000 and for this guy what is the time on 300 second by default so you do have the ability right to create or define मल्टीपल मैक टेबल अब तुम बोलोगे लॉ आई कैन सी ओनली मैक वन मैक टेबल राइट नाउ तो ये देखो दिखाता हूं मैक टेबल मैक एंड्रीज फॉर द विलन नंबर 1 सेपरेट मैक टेबल मैक एंड्रीज फॉर द विलन नंबर 10 एंड मैक एंड्रीज फॉर द विलन नंबर 20 तीन मैक टेबल हो गए For the villain number one, villain number ten, and villain number twenty. So, guys, each villain has a separate MAC address table, and for the separate MAC address table, you can define the. It's up to you. You can define the separate MAC aging time. So, how many dynamic entries were there in the villa number one? Four. And how many static entries are there? One. Total is. What is my MAC table capacity? The MAC, my MAC table capacity is this amount. So I can store this amount of MAC address in my MAC address table. you can store this amount of mac address and this value right this value will be vary depend on the platform aisa nahi hai ki isme apna to dusre mein bhi nahi hoga it can be changed now the question is that how many mac address i can learn on a single interface
जितने स्विच की कैपेसिटी उतना लगे दिस इज द डिफॉल्ट बिहेवियर यू कैन लिमिट दिस थिंग सो लेट्स सी आई कैन गो ऑन द राउटर नंबर वन देखो जाके देखो इसका भी आर वन डू पिंग वन आर टू डन दो सौ इंटरफेस इतना नीचे रस्ता जो इंटरनल बी आई ए राइट चेंज द मैक एड्रेस इंटरफेस इतना नीचे रस्ता जो मैक एड्रेस रिवॉर्ड वन पिंग डन चेंज द मैक एड्रेस पिंग चेंज द मैक एड्रेस पिंग चेंज द मैक एड्रेस पिंग Change the matter to Spain. My software needs to be more secure. I'll let me think this. Thing. R. Then. Then. And it's quite ago. It comes in the default behavior now. I get default. One more thing. Whenever I'm changing the MAC address, right? Whenever I'm changing the MAC address, if you see one thing, right? Can you see that? What information the MAC address is this guy? What information change? Only this part is changed, not the this part, because this is the actual MAC address that is present on your NIC card. Okay, so you are not going to modify the BIA address. You are just modifying the MAC address, right? Clear? So once I'm going to remove the MAC address, it comes in the default behavior. So what are the default MAC address of this guy? Two hundred, two hundred. Done. Sir, so in what condition we have to change the aging time for the RA assist? I'll tell you with your question. If I solve this problem, I'll tell you with your question. Now you can see on the switch one, guys. So MAC address table. Look, on a single interface, I'm learning the multiple MAC addresses. Here. So, so we are creating multiple MAC addresses, right, on single interface? No, I can. Um, it means that on a single interface, switch can learn the multiple MAC addresses. Okay. It doesn't mean we can we can have any loops. No, abhi to nahi hai. Ab hoga bhi nahi. Abhi to nahi hai. Abhi dekha to loop bhi hoga. I'll show you the loop as well as one minute. Okay. I'm, I'm, see, this kind of question they're asking that we're like, how many MAC addresses we can learn on the single interface? It depends, right? If you size. If your switch capacity is ten thousand MAC address, they can learn the all ten thousand MAC address on the single interface. But you do have an ability to limit this thing, right? I can limit this thing. This is the attack, actually. This is not a good thing. But yeah, just understand the thing. Or like concept is right word. Concept is on a single interface, you can learn the multiple MAC addresses. My hub will be there. I will make a switch. I will behave like a hub. Uh, but uh, it tell me one thing: if you have ten thousand MAC address capacity of the switch, right, and if the, all the ten thousand MAC address is full on the single interface, and now if the PC number two wants to communicate with the PC number four, what happened? Switch will receive a packet. They do have a space for the MAC address. <laughs> no. So what happened? They will broadcast full data. So this is not a good thing, right? But yeah, this is the concept. You need to understand this thing. Now, as is asked, ask the question like, like in which case they define the aging time. Let's see, uh, aging time you can define as is like, uh, for example, if you have uh, some servers, a uh, multiple servers are present in the villa number ten. So you do one thing, like change the aging time, make the higher aging time are higher for the server side. So in that case, what happened? That entry will be uh, not flush immediately, right? It takes some time because sometimes you are people are not 
continuously using the server, right? For example, uh, I have a TFTP server, right? So I'm rarely on a two hours and three hours of the interval, I'm using the TFTP server. So I can use the like you know aging time for that guy is the higher. So okay, so now condition out of it was condition here. Understand goes to up the problem care. This guy also have a Mac address. Two hundred. Some just because both must concept again. This guy also have a same one, and this guy also have a same one. Right? Clear? So if let's do one thing, let's go on a router number two and define the mechanism of this guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, certainly. Meanwhile, I'll do one thing. I'll configure the VLAN number one. VLAN number one. Mac will be, I'll define the 200. Type will be dynamic. And I'm learning which interface, Ethernet Geo Slash. Right? And the VLAN number one, the Mac will be what 600. I'm pinging the router number six right now. So, router number five, this guy, right? Type will be dynamic. I'm learning on which interface, if an edge one slash. Right? So, right now, I'm just providing the communication between this guy to this guy, right? So, we have uh, this entry in my Mac table. Done. Let's come back to the router number two and change the interface Ethernet zero slash zero MAC address. MAC address and uh, change this guy with the 200 now. Same name. Up depot. So ping one one of three. What happened? Ping one one three. If I set the ping one one three from this side, R two will create a packet. In this packet, what is the source MAC information? Two hundred and distance MAC four hundred. When this packet is coming to the switch one zero slash one interface, what switch will do? What do you think? What switch will do? It look up source map. So source map already present and not 200. On Ethernet 0 slash 0 this side. Yes. So do you know in that case what switch will do? This interface is also belong to the which VLAN, same VLAN, right? Right now, same broadcast domain. So the switch will just change the port number. And there. Right, and uh, right now, okay, with us, let me let me add. And
Yes. See, learning the MAC address, you want it on the Ethernet zero slash zero. But when I'm sending the packet from this guy, right? The router number two. What happened? Wait for some time. Learn the MAC address. So on the same interface, can you see that? 200 is there, same interface 200. But at the same time, both will be not present. So right now, router number two send the packet. So switch one will update the Ethernet zero slash one. When the router number one will send the packet, so what if the switch will do? They will update the zero slash one. When again, R2 will send the packet, so they will update the one. Then R1 will send the packet, they will update the two. When R2 will, one. When R, R1 will, zero. When R2 will, one. When R1 will, zero. When R2 will, one. When R1 will, zero. But they will not add both information simultaneously. Do you know why? Just because of the spanning tree protocol. The parents. Because according to the spanning tree protocol, if you don't know the spanning tree protocol, don't know, uh, don't worry about that. We'll see that in the very detail. But just for the like, you know, we just because of the spanning tree, they are not learning this thing. What is spanning tree protocol is saying that you cannot learn the same MAC address. Listen, you cannot learn same MAC address on a multiple interface of the switch. If they all belong to the same VLAN. So right now, both are same VLAN, right? This guy and this guy, same VLAN. That's why they are not able to learn the MAC address. But if I'm going to make this guy as a VLAN number 10, what happened? They can learn it. So now they will have a VLAN number 10 and then we have a MAC address of the word 200 because VLAN number 10 will have a separate MAC address table, right? And now they will have a Ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1. Now this entry will be appear. Because this guy has a separate MAC address table for VLAN number 1, and this guy has a separate MAC. Because now we have a two MAC address table. One is the VLAN number 1, and one we have a VLAN number 2, right? So we have a two different MAC address table. VLAN number 1 MAC table, and VLAN number 10 MAC table. So VLAN number one MAC table, we have Ethernet uh, 0 slash 0, right, uh, as a 200 MAC address. And on the Ethernet uh, VLAN number 10, we have Ethernet 0 slash 1, 200 MAC address, same one. You can do one thing, go on the switch side and uh, configure this interface Ethernet 0 slash 1, switch port access VLAN number 10, so VLAN brief, right? So this interface is a part of VLAN number 10 now. And let's do one thing, show MAC address table now. Wait for some time. So it's fine, free. Make a thing not there. Again, VLAN number 10, 200, and this is the VLAN number 200 one. Both interfaces. I just define the ping, though, of course, the ping will not possible because they are two different VLAN. We need to do the inter VLAN routing, right? But the, understand the concept. If you have a duplicate MAC address, by default, they will not learn. You need to divide into different broadcast domain because each switch has a each VLAN has a separate MAC address. Domain. This is the 
MAC adjustable for some case. So MAC address table count. You can see the VLAN of a pen. I have a MAC address entry is a one as a dynamic one. MAC address table. Any time ho gaya, static ho gaya. What is that? Okay. MAC list. Sorry. Ah, sir. Can can enter VLANs be? Uh... Connect, connection connectivity is possible, sir. Of course, of course, buddy. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. Guys, any question in the Mac address table? Now you can ask me. Okay, actually, all you can also, you know, clear Mac address table dynamic. You can remove the MAC address, you know, the address or interfaces as well as regarding you can directly put the address of that. What you want to remove it, you can directly put the address. If you want to call the interface, you can call the interface on which uh, that interface that you have learned the MAC address. You can remove the only that interface learning MAC address or rather you can remove the VLAN as well as because every VLAN has a different, different MAC address. So MAC address table, we have seen so MAC address. Address aging time we have seen count, we have seen dynamic, we can see that interface, we can see that Ethernet zero slash zero. Okay. Okay, what's our technique? Multicast secure static static line defining here. Okay, Mac address control. Any question anyone has a Mac address counter? Anyone has any question in the Mac address? Nay. Nee? No law. Uh, uh, yes, buddy, tell me. Uh, so, so our, we have multiple Mac on particular interface. So, I mean, R1 is reading multiple Mac on particular interface. Not R1 switch is learning the multiple Mac address from that. Okay, one. okay, switch. Uh, okay, so switch. Uh, then if you, if you ping from uh, some other rotor, uh, mm. it has, in, in the tarp table, there is no entry of that particular rotor. So yeah. if it, if it, it ping, uh, RPing, it will do the RPing. So, yeah. what will be the MAC address it will send? So, if you see, take example. One R1. And I will change the MAC address on this. If you go on R6 first of all and see. R5, what are Enable so R. And go R1 and change it to phase 0 star 0 back address. Oh, that will add to the model. Then So what? I just have entry. Ping one one two. Now you have to show interface with an zero. Okay, so interface with an zero slash zero is going to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No way. Okay. And what I might learn over there? 209. So I will, I will, I will send the traffic. He will give the, you know, the, what I call. I have a Mac ARP entry on the 209 over there, right? 
And what happened if I'm going to ping with this guy, one on one on Right. And this guy has a, you know, or the, what I call, uh, Mac is different. For example, this guy had changed the Mac, uh, the 210 or maybe uh, 211. This guy has a change the Mac address. So I will send the packet with the, this guy, right? Yeah. A switch also have a same entry, but he will give the reply with the, this person. So I will update, after that, I will update the information. Switch ke paas to Mac address table to wohi hoga na. Agar switch ke paas usne control plane uh, through the control plane it will send any packet of the switch one. Then switch one has updated this entry. So what happens? Route of I will send the packet. The previous Mac address, Mac address table it will send the packet to this guy, right? And he will give the reply with the own Mac address. Okay, every time it will change in that case. Not every time. That's I manually change it over there. It's not happening in the production, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How do you question Mac address table, sir? Uh, but previously, that uh, 209 entry is not in the switch Mac table, right? 300 second floor valid, it will maintain, right? If the, yes. Mac, if the Mac table does not have, then it will do the unknown interest flooding. Okay, got it. Okay, guys. Once so after so, getting yeah. reply, it will update again, right? Once yes. after getting reply. Yes. yes. So it totally depends on the Mac address table, right? If they have, then it will flood. If they don't have, flood it. We're going to cram on this way, cram on R5, eh? Scroll it off. R1 page off. R1 key Mac drill for change for the fixer. Mac is for the. So, so R. Learn over here. Because it's this control pillar packet with us in broadcast here. So it's a hiker they had Mac does come. Okay. Baki Kalkar the art. So we'll see that. So to go art, I will complete and then we'll start the video. I want, like, you know, I want a, all ARP entry on R1. Jessica. So, can you repeat the question? I want a, all ARP entry on R1. Daughter. Every ARP entry. How you will do that? Mm -hmm. I want all our entry on our router number one. Broadcast packet business. Anyone else? Multi-layer multi switch using? 
स्विच तो यही है ये मटेरियल ही है आई वांट ऑल आर पेंट्री ऑन आर आउटर लाइन when i'm changing the mac address now so it uh, what they will do it will send the request right and it will update to the every person hey uh, my mac address has changed so you can update the app table right this is how the the person has uh, changed the mac table right this guy see thank you Hello. Okay, brother. So can you see that now? I have I just changed the MAC address on the router, right? Change the MAC address on this guy, and what happened? It will send the request to the every person. Hey, my MAC address has changed. You can update. So see, can you see that he's sending the request to whom? One of one to the one of five. With a new MAC address, B, send the request to this guy. He changed the MAC address. He's informing to the every person. Please update your R entry. Now the question is that if I want, right? If you see show R interface zero slash zero shut down. No shut. Show R. I don't have R entry of the other person, right? I don't have R twenty of the other person. Let's do one thing: switch one, go on switch one as well as handing over the VLAN number ten that I have created over there for the router number two. Uh, interface is thirty zero slash switch one access VLAN number and one. So VLAN B two. So all the part of the same same VLAN right now, and I want all R twenty. How we can do that? एक काम करो आरसी बजाओ इंटरफेस इधर जो सा जो सा आ सा डाउन नो सट शो आर आई जस्ट हैव ओन एंट्री राइट आई वांट ऑल एंट्री पिंग ब्रॉडकास्ट One is that keyword online keyword keyword on a screen. Yeah, keyword. One to one scene. Right. 
kan short है भाई ये आरपेन ना सबका जाता है इट्स नॉट सोइंग बट इट विल गेट द ऑल आरपेन ट्री इट विल रिसीव ऑल आरपेन बिकॉज़ आई एम गेटिंग द रिप्लाई फ्रॉम द एवरी पर्सन आई एम सेंडिंग द रिक्वेस्ट एंड रिप्लाई इज गिविंग द एवरी पर्सन सो आई विल अपडेट द ऑल आरपेन ट्री ओवर इट्स ओनली दिस इन द वन इट विल अपडेट द ऑल आरपेन ट्री सो सम टाइम्स राइट इफ यू गो फॉर द इंटरव्यू नो दे विल आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन हे आई वांट टू अपडेट माय ओन आरपेन ट्री ओवर देयर राइट For every, if you have one thousand uh, users over the network, I want to update the one thousand R twenty on my single PC. Send the broadcast packet, and you will update the R twenty. So this is how I'm done with the Mac concept. Guys, if you have any question from the Mac table, then you can ask me. I, I'm not done with the R code. Again, I'm I'm not done with the R. I'm done with the Mac concept. What is MAC address table and what is MAC? What is MAC address table? What is aging time and how to define the static MAC entry? Uh, unknown unicast flooding and MAC table. What is MAC forty eight bit address? I'm done with this part, right? And uh, how to verify the MAC address as well? I'm done with this part. If you have any question from this part, right, you can ask me. I'm not done with the ARP. How can we can uh, define the static ARP entry and ARP timeout? Like you know, change the values and you know the one question is also coming. Like you know, what all the question was there? Okay. The limit, right? Something. Yeah, we'll see that tomorrow. No, no ARP tabs. Uh, we'll see that uh, in a DHCP. We'll see the two ARP tabs and the static routing. We are going to go through the proxy ARP. Remaining up, gratuitous up, and uh, reverse up, inverse up. I'll show you in the DHCP. All good. Any questions, guys? So, so here we are using a uh, class A IP. So you are doing ping for one dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five. Exactly right, right, right. We are using a uh, class A class A address with a uh, class class C subnet bus. Then you can send the broadcast of the class C subnet bus. Every every network has a broadcast domain. Sorry, every network has a broadcast ID, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Any other questions, anyone, guys? If you have a question, you can ask me. Otherwise, I'm done for your class. No. So, guys, uh, have a great night and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, sir. Bye.